All right, we have another question here for the math CST exam for the multi-subject teacher certification. The landscaper recommended a mix of three and a half pounds of ryegrass seed with three fourths pound of bluegrass seed. If the lawn needs five and one fourth pounds of ryegrass seed, how many pounds of bluegrass seed would there would that be? So this is a classic proportion problem where they give us what's like the default recipe and we want to compare it to what we need. So the default recipe is, let's write it as a fraction, three and a half pounds of rye grass seed, rye, for every three fourths pound of blue grass seed. This is the original recipe. So we want to make it a proportion. So we'll set it equal to what we want. So what we want is how many pounds of bluegrass seed. So how many pounds of bluegrass seed? Let's just call it X. X blue. How many pounds of bluegrass seed do we need if we have five and one fourth pounds of rye? So that's the proportion. Blue rye to blue rye equals rye to blue. And we have all the numbers we need except for how much bluegrass seed we need. Because that's the question that is asking. So we have to figure that out. So now that we have a proportion set up, we can do what's called cross multiplying, where we'll multiply these two numbers, and then we'll multiply these two numbers. As you see the diagonals. So let's start, let's start with the blue diagonal. We'll multiply three and a half by x, and that's just going to give us three and a half times x, and on the green, we'll multiply three fourths times five and one fourths. Now all we have to do is solve this equation for x and that should get us our answer. One problem here might be that it might be a little difficult to multiply these fractions. So let's go ahead and convert these fractions into decimals before we go ahead and solve for anything. Cool, so these are relatively um, common fractions so they should be not too bad to convert. For example, three and a half is just 3.5, right? Because one half is just 0 0.5 times x. Three fourths is three quarters, so that's 0 0.75. And five and one fourths is 5.25. Okay. Now we have some nice decimals to work with, so we can go ahead and just multiply with our calculator. 3.5 times x is going to be just 3.5x. We can't multiply by x right now. And 0 0.75 times 5.25 using the calculator will get me 3.9375. Now to solve for x, let's just multiply both sides by 3.5. We'll multiply the left side by 3.5, we have to multiply if we divide the left side by 3.5, we have to divide the right side by 3.5 because of the equation. So on the left side, the 3.5s will cancel out, leaving us with x just like we wanted. And on the right side, using my calculator, I'll divide 3.9375 by 3.5 and I will get 1.125. So our answer is 1.125. But our problem is, our answer choices are in fractions. So let's try to figure out what our answer choice is. Well, it's 1.125, which means it's 1 and something. So we can eliminate answer choice A and D. And let's, take a, let's look at answer choice C real quick. Answer choice C is 1 and, a ha one, and 1 half, right? We know 1 half is just 0.5, so this would be 1.5. 
Clearly, this answer is not 1.5. It's actually less than 1.5. It's 1.125. So our answer has to be C. And we can double check by putting in our calculator 1 over 8, and we'll see that it's actually equal to 0 0.125.